I feel the Lord today. I'm going to turn it over to our pastors here. Come on, Brother Brian. Give Brother Brian a hand. It's good to be in the house of the Lord, isn't it? Amen. We're thankful this morning to come out here and praise Him a little bit and to worship Him. But we have to know who, who He is to be able to do that, don't we? Brother Kenneth, he, he is not feeling well, and, and actually, if he took doctor's orders, he wouldn't be here this morning. <laughs> if you just look at it, they don't know the guy who's here. We're, we're thankful that he can make it out here, but we believe what we believe, little friend. And as all the songs this morning, Victory in Jesus, started out, we went all in that line for his day. Went on down the line four days late, Brother Frankie. But saved this far. Lord, this morning, just a few more weary steps. There's victory in Jesus. Amen. So, and in one glory to stay, we won't have to worry about all these troubles and trials anymore. So, so we got we can have we can have we got victory now. Right. I mean, one day he said yeah, we, there's gonna be that final perfection, Brother Paul. There's gonna be that final uh, there's gonna be that final day. The where it's all, where it's all going to be, it's going to be worth it after all. Yeah. And it's going to be, if we can journey to the end, we finish the race that we've got set before us. It's, it's hard to do sometimes in the human nature. You get to where you can feel like you can't take another step. You think we're to work? Are we any different than people in the Bible? Are we any different than Job? If, we ever, if any of us had to go through what he's went through, I look around and hear Brother Frankie, is that sin? We've had different trials. We've had different trouble. But he said he fell for the Lord's word. Brother Paul, he didn't know where he was. That's that's time, but Paul said, let's have it and feel after it. Yeah. But let me tell you this. You don't just have to feel after it. You find it. That's All right? He's not far from any one of us oh, this morning. He's not far from us. And I, I was thankful we got to take a, a trip. And, and now the, when I, I was thinking of the song, Brother Poo, we sing here for life, though. Is coming. I'll pay attention to life boats. When you get on a cruise ship, yeah. when you get on a cruise ship, you think you pay attention to life boats. That's the first one I've been on. I'm like, well, you know, all right. Well, we don't realize, but we 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 get in that. There's an ark of safety that, that he prepared back in Job in Noah's day. He did. Amen. It was, a, it was, a, it was a, he taught him how to build it. He was inexperienced. Okay. He had never built a ship before. All right. But then he built built one. Because God gave him the plan, and right. he saved his house, didn't he? And, 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 he, and God led the two by two, all these things. You think about that magnificent ship that he had built, how big it was. It might have been as big as one of his own. I don't know exactly how. It tells you there the number of cubits and everything else. But you think about how he built that inexperience, but God told him what to build it with and what to use, didn't he? He did right. what God told him to do. Well, today in our day, there's a, there's a, there's a spiritual arc. There's a spiritual arch of safety we got to get into. But when we're in the spiritual arch of safety, we're not worried about this ship sinking. We're not worried about it going down. I'm not going to look for. I don't have to look for a, a lifeboat or whatever. I'm in the lifeboat already. I'm in the ark. That is the lifeboat. Right, There's safety in that. Right, right. We just can we just pray, Brother Kenneth. Uh, man, I feel like he already gave me the heads up a couple days ago. I appreciate it. Uh, but I said this morning, I think, Lord, what am I going to say? You know, you, you, if you email me, you're like, what am I going to say? Because I can line out something from two pages long and not be any benefit to you. If it's not by the Spirit of God, it's not with the right word. That's right. It's not the right spirit. Amen. But this morning, we come out here, this morning, we come out here to praise Him, and we come out here to worship Him. Praise the Lord. Now we pray, we, we've done the praise a little bit this morning. Now we have to worship Him. I want to show you the difference. There's a difference in the praise and the worship. Right. And in Psalms, I believe it's the 150th chapter, Brother Ron. I think it is. Is that the last chapter? Just a few words. I, I feel, I can't feel Brother Ken. I don't feel his office, and we can't preach like Brother Ken, but that's, that's okay. That ain't what God wants me to do. That's a good idea. I'm not for the you know, God knows that. God, but I got, I got to do what I got to do. I try to do that. Amen. Doing his, doing his work. We all got work to do. Right. And I feel like sometimes we're not careful. We get apathetic and we start getting to where like 
we just let things of the world kind of overwhelm us and we get we we're not increasing we're not we don't have that love that we should have for the truth and to not worry about what somebody thinks right. uh, i've been guilty of that you think well somebody ain't gonna think i don't, I don't think it who cares <laughs> what are you doing it for uh, right. 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 Come on, son. Verse 150. Thank you, Brother God. Praise you, Lord. Praise God in His sanctuary. What do you have? Amen. Praise Him in the firmament of His power. Yeah. All right, verse 2. Praise Him for His mighty acts. Is He praise not praising Jesus? Yes. Even before He does the work, Brother Kent, we're going to praise Him right. Right. for the work. Right. Praise Him according to His excellent greatness. All right, verse 3. Praise him with the sound of the trumpet. Praise him with the psaltery and harp. Verse 4. They said it string instruments. Praise him with the temple and dance. Praise him with the string instruments and organs. Wonderful things. Verse on down, brother Rod. Keep on going. Verse 6. He sums it all up. Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. This is the Lord. Now, we, now we have natural we have natural air. But Brother Kenneth, when he came down to Jesus, when he took his disciples, he said, breathe on them. That's right. He said, receive me the Holy Ghost. He breathed on them. Yeah. Come on, sir. That's a different kind of breath. Yes, so if you got the Spirit of God, we can't yeah. worship God, but in spirit and truth. All right. Right. If he's right. Right. we'll read that in just a minute. We have to worship Him in spirit and truth. We're right. praising Him. We praise Him with the songs. We praise Him with the instruments. It's right. been a blessing to us. Yes. But now we got to worship Him. That's right. Yes. All right. And I think it's John the fourth chapter. John the fourth chapter. I was listening to something this week, and it was an old man got blind a long ago, brother, brother Paul preaching on the music and different things and it was wonderful and it was something that really stuck with me but the 24th chapter well we'll read 24 and then we'll go back we'll go up above there he said here that this is a St. John 4 chapter 24 but we'll come up above there brother Rob Later, we appreciate this, having these things right here, these technology we have. We appreciate it. Dude. Yeah. It helps us in what we're doing here, but really it comes down to it. This right here is the most important word. There's, you really realize or not, Jesus was a living word. That's right. right? Amen. We right. could give us this written word to go by. But then right. he said, receive with meekness the engrafted word. So yeah. you got to receive it, but somebody's got to deliver it to it. Amen. When you get your mail, somebody had to deliver it. Yeah, buddy. But awesome. then you have to receive yeah. it. That's right, so man. You know, it becomes something you have to do. We can deliver it all day long, but if you won't receive it, they, they didn't receive things Jesus. They That's right. With he, he spoke out. The, there's a lot of this going on in the world today. There's a lot of tickling, ear tickling kind of thing going on. As long as you're doing that, people's happy. But when it, when it gets down to the truth, it becomes a different thing then. Yeah. Right. People act like they want to worship Him, but there's a difference when it comes down to the truth. Amen. All right? Now, we speak the truth in love. He told us to do that. There's a love way we do it. But right. it's still compromised the truth. The Amen. truth is truth. It don't change. Amen. He didn't change when he thought about things 2,000 years later. Uh, when he wrote this book, he didn't change his mind now. The Lord didn't say, well, now this is okay with you. It wasn't okay then, and it okay now. Uh, that's just the way he, he does it. But he said, God is a spirit. He is. But not without a body. So for another day, he is a spirit. Brother Kim, he had a body. He had a body. I didn't say he had. He had one. But he said, God is a spirit. And they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. All right? So we've been praising now. We've got to worship him in spirit and the truth. Okay? The truth. We have to get the truth, the love of the truth, down in our heart. That's right. There was a crowd of people. There was a Matthew, the 25th chapter or 4th chapter. Let's look. There is a crowd of people. And, I, and we worry, and I do for my own self, but then you worry about people. And that's kind of what you do in ministry. You think about how are people. And that's your a natural father does that with his family. He worries if his kids don't eat and different things. And I've heard Brother Kenneth say, you worry about people sometimes. If they don't ever come to the table and eat, you worry. Right. Because how are they going to sustain? Amen. Uh, do you get this love of truth or you don't have enough to sustain it? And that's what my job is to make sure that I can write on your heart. All right? Now, God can break. He, if you have a stony heart, He can take it out. Yes. Right. God does operations all the time. Yes. 
And in the Bible, you said, call one of an operation of God. Talking about being baptized. That's right. Change. 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 That's right. You're, you're, you're a new creature. You're different. All right? You become something new because of that operation. Well, God can do that with your heart. Amen. He, takes a, he may take, Lord, this right on my heart. Sometimes he's got to take that stony one out and put a flesh one in there that he can write. He don't write his laws in stone no more. He's already done that. But he writes them in your heart. Right.
but there's a there's a thing you gotta do. I deliver a message. It's time you gotta receive. You got in other words, you gotta say, Lord, reveal these things unto me. And we gotta grow, brother Cass is preaching in Sunday school this morning. Grow. Right. Grow in grace for that. In other words, that's what we that's why we eat and fry, right? That's why we eat. That's why we eat right now. That's why we do the word. But he said here that then said the king of heaven be likened in the ten virgins, which took their lamps and went forth to the bridegroom. Whether you realize or not, we're all going to meet the bridegroom. Right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. We're all going to meet the bridegroom. Whether we're part of the bride or whether we're just a friend. That's right. Amen. He still met the bridegroom. That's right. He didn't turn out too good for him. Come on. But he said, well, I can't stop here without a wedding garment. That's right. And he wasn't dressed up and ready to go. That's right. He called him a friend. He said, I'm a friend of Jesus. Well, man, he might be a friend to us, but we haven't been one back. That's if you right. don't do his commandments. Amen. 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 That's it. So that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Right. Yeah. So he called that man friend. Well, when he was taken, Brother Ken, and Jesus betrayed him, he said friend. That's right. That's right. No doubt he was a big dog. Right? That's it. But he said friend. Why come us out here without a wedding garment? Why are you not dressed? Why are you not? He said, take him, bind him, hand foot, and cast him in the heart. That's what he said. So we're going to meet the bridegroom. Amen. We're going to all meet the bridegroom. If it's a point when a man wants to die, and after this, what? The judgment. Yeah. We must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ. Amen. Yeah. All. Let's not we don't get a pass. Anybody gets a pass. We all got to stand before the judgment seat of Christ. Right. And he said, they shall be judged according to those things which are written in the books. That's what he said. All right? Not the things that weren't written in the books, but the things that were written in the books. That's Amen. Yeah. That's, why, that's why we're doing what we do. So they went forth to meet the bride. And let's read on down through this. If five of them were wise and five were foolish. Right, so are you wise or foolish? They that were foolish took their lamps and took no oil with them. Would you not think that'd be foolish? I got my car and I don't got my gas in it. I can't use the gas. It'd be kind of foolish. I set out on a trip, no gas, and run out of gas. What happened? You went out on the river with a boat with no gas. You'd be caught, you'd be caught on, wouldn't you? Now he's done that. Uh, anybody left their old cap off? Check their old and leave their cap off? Yeah. Run their old out? I'm not sure. Okay. It's foolish. It's foolish. Taking the vessel that you've got with no oil is foolish. But the wise took all their vessels with their lamps. Yeah. They got lamps. You got a lamp, but then you got to have a way to have them. you got to have oil in the vessel. So, uh, all right? So I'm, I'm afraid sometimes that we don't have that oil and we're letting their light burn out. Amen. Yeah, we don't want to be that. When the bridegroom tarried, they all slept and slept. All right, it's going down with it all. And at midnight, there was a cry made, Behold, the bridegroom cometh, go to you out to meet him. At that time, it's kind of like, you ever been with anything to do at the last minute? Like, oh, got to get some more now. Too late. Been way too late. Right? Verse 7. Then all of the verses arose and trimmed the lamps. All right. He said, And the food says, And the wise, give us of your oil. Our lamps are gone now. Is that not like people do today? They just. I kind of like, well, somebody else needs to give it to me. Well, you got to get it for yourself. Right. Wow, the time's getting. Let's get time. Right? Yes. you got to get it for yourself. We all got to have it for ourselves. Right? we got to get it. It's up to us. We can't just rely on somebody else. When we stand before him, it really becomes, it's just one-on-one. -on -one, That's it? right. When you stand before him, you can't really can't blame nobody else. We can't say uh, those excuses. Well, I'm going to go back to that man to that he found there at the, at the wedding and didn't have the garment on. He said when he asked him, why come and stop here without a wedding garment? What did he say? The Bible said he was speechless. We don't have no excuse. We stand before him be speechless. We can't make one in. Lord, but, but, but. That ain't gonna work. No, no, no. And the food said to the wise, give us a your old fur lamps are gone out. Don't work anymore. But the wise answer say not so, lest there be not enough for us and you. Guess what? They had to make sure they had enough for us. But go you rather to them and sell and buy for yourself. Um, verse 10. And while they went to buy the bridegroom came and they were ready when they went to the marriage. The door was shut. Now the Bible said when the master shut the door, they can't nobody open it. Man. Right now the door is open. I see it. It's open, the door come. Yes. You know, taking the water off freely. The spirit and the bride say come. In other words, right now that's that's what's happening. It's, it's open. In other words, come unto me, Jesus said. Oh, you labor and heavy labor. It's still there time when the door shut. We don't want to wait till the door shuts. It's no. too late. Also came to another virgin saying, Lord, Lord, open to us. And he said, But he answered, said, Virgin, I say to you, I know you not. Do we want to hear? I know you not. No. Or do we want to hear again and now again? Man, how good faith is You know what? It's not the big thing altogether. The little things. He said, If we're faithful in that which is least. Yeah. He said, 
the soil that we need. Amen. But how do we get it? If I say, how do you get this love and truth? You know, you got to worship it with spirit and truth. All right, but it takes the truth. Now, there's a crowd of people, and Timothy said this. That they said there they would they would turn from the truth. We turn to fables. Yes. Having engineers. In other words, tell me something that just tickles with my ear instead of telling me the truth. Yeah. Amen. You know, sometimes the truth is you know, the Bible says the truth not the Bible. But we know what Satan says the truth are. We speak the truth in love, but Brother Ken, we won't. If we have that right attitude when the truth, and, and sometimes when it does step on our toes, we don't have that kind of, we don't want to be that kind of cut to the heart person. Lord, I'm mad at that guy here. He's he stepping on our toes. In other words, being those are pricked in the heart. There's a difference. We find two crowds in the gospel. There wasn't nothing wrong with the messenger or the message. But the, on the end that received it, it was how they received it. That's why Brother Kim was preaching another sermon about the word being so in the faith. You see the different, only the good grounds where it brought forth fruit and, and, and it remained. But that's come to us, okay? That's what I'm trying to say is there's something you got to do, okay? you got to receive it, but then you got to keep it, all right? Yeah. You can have oil in your vessel at one time, but if it goes out, is that going to matter? It's not. Is your life goes out, is that going to matter? Well, I used to. That didn't work. No. Was that a big fat no? The Lord says any. <laughs> I know. We don't want to hear him say, I know you not. But I want to look at, um, let's see, just a place or two. We'll, we'll sit down. I, Proverbs 25 and 23, or 23 and 23, brother God, I believe it is. Let's see if that's right. I'm, just, I'm glad to be back. I, we got we we got our trip and we really missed our folks. It's like you know we had family with us, but we still missed our people. You know, Man. it's like you missed your church. And... Proverbs twenty five and twenty three twenty three, and then it's uh, Isaiah fifty five one. Just a few, a few more remarks on this. <coughs> He said, buy the truth and sell it not. Now, does that mean you got to have money for it? No, I'm going to prove that. Just a minute. Don't worry. He didn't come to just looking for people that had money. No, he did. If he did, we're out of luck. That's right. You know what I mean? We're, 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 it's, yeah. If we got anything, we're working to pay for it. Yeah. You know? I mean, we might have some nice looking stuff, but we pay some payments. Right. We'll pay a payment if you keep it. That's right. And don't get to. So, we're working for stuff. We just hard working people that it took uh, being rich to, to enter in what work. Right. So he said he, he said I have come before but my have the gospel preached to me. Amen. Before. Before. Blessed are the poor in spirit, right? Yeah. What are these areas that we can? Bible truth and set not also wisdom and instruction and understanding. All right, brother.
not your ear and come unto me. Here and your soul shall live. Here. Okay? Here. Alright? We gotta hear. Uh, and then we gotta be a doer. Okay? Here, but not but not a forgetful here, but a doer of work. That's right. Yeah. Hear and your soul shall live, and I will make an everlasting covenant for you, even the sure mercy of the day. Praise the Lord. Thank the Lord. We didn't we don't take mine. But we need to have this truth, don't we? Amen. Love of the truth. Mark 10th chapter. I think it is. I appreciate the opportunity, brother. Brother Kenneth, like if it, you know, because I would rather. I would rather him. Mark 10, 17. And when he was gone forth into the way, he said, There came one running and kneeled, kneeled to him and asked him, Good master, what shall I do that I may inherit eternal life? Wonder what I need to do. 